Thank you for coming to the advanced Appium training session. Uh, and let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan Cuellar. I'm the creator of Appium. I'm head of software testing at Foodit in London. Um, previously, I've worked for Shazam and Zeus in Microsoft. And way back in the day, I went to school and got a computer science degree. Um, but anyways, first off, think things first. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm not in Bangalore. Well, let me teach you something about the American passport here. So, you may see that this passport appears to have enough space for a one-page India visa stamp, but you would be incorrect. Uh, as you noted, this page is marked visas, and uh, this page is marked endorsements, and apparently they care about that at the border in India. So, I got to come back to rainy London, uh, and I'm here broadcasting live from the Fooded headquarters in the bowels of Four Crown Place, bunkering down for whatever happens from the Brexit vote today. Uh, but hopefully you enjoy this talk, and I will join you later, and I will take your questions and answer them live via some sort of Skype or VoIP or something. Um, anyway, so today, here's what we're going to talk about. So I'll start with a brief overview of the story of Appium. We'll move on to what's new in 1.5. We'll talk about automating Mac and Windows applications. Then I'll show you some advanced techniques that I've seen and done by others over the last few years. Uh, and at the end, we'll have some time for questions, and I'll close with a something or other. So anyways, Appium. For those of you who don't know what it is, I'm about to tell you the story of Appium. Um, but this is an advanced session, so hopefully you know what it is and you came here. But I know that's not true, probably. Um, so let's talk about how Appium came about. So it all starts with what I call the most terrifying five words in software testing. So normally I would ask you to guess what those are, and then you guess something, and then I'd laugh at your guess because it's probably funny. But since it's a video, I'll just tell you what they are. They are available on the App Store. So you might be wondering, why is that terrifying? Well, that's terrifying because on the App Store, you're not allowed to just push out new code whenever you like. There's a lengthy review process. So when you make mistakes, they're quite expensive. So I took over a new, site, a new job at a dating site in San Francisco, which had a mobile app, which made quite a lot of money. And our mobile app kept having bugs in it. And whenever we'd have a bug, it would take us two to three weeks to roll out a patch because the App Store review process takes that long. And because of that, it became quite important to get things right, and testing became very important. So out of that, it spawned a need for some sort of tool to automate our testing. And this is 2011. So at the time, Appium did not exist, and many of the solutions we use nowadays, if you're not an Appium user, weren't around either. And so I needed something, and it reminded me of my days earlier in my career when I worked on other things where testing was more important. Um, having worked on websites for the previous few years, Websites are a lot different than other applications because you control the server and you can deploy new code. So if you make a mistake, you can send the new code onto the server and then